I'm with the game today. I'm with the game today. Huh? I'm with the game today. What it is, YouTube. Appreciate y'all tuning in. For today's video, I got a workout for y'all. Bigger arms workout, body weight, and weights combined. We're going to begin the both, best of both worlds with this workout. But before we get to the workout, don't forget the light helps the channel grow. Comment, continue to the channel. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to watch the whole video through. Now, without further ado, hey, it's going to be hella intense, man. We're going to be hitting the arms like crazy with this workout. Let's run the clip, man. Let's get it. The first exercise you're going to be doing is tricep push-ups. Now, you're going to be doing four rounds of these, and we're going to be going for high reps. So, anywhere between 12 to 20 reps. For me, personally, I went for 20 reps. Now, with tricep push-ups, what you're going to do is you're going to go into a regular push-up position. But in terms of the hand placement, you're going to have your hands a little bit out wider. Almost like you're in a wide push-up position but not really kind of like you see it right here that wide and then you're gonna come down you're not going all the way down you're just gonna come up because the thing is you want to focus on the tricep the part of arms that we're hitting with this exercise is triceps i mean it's in the name tricep push is pretty obvious but if you feel it anywhere else other than your triceps man probably doing the exercise wrong but i mean if you feel a little bit in your chest or shoulders that's cool but you should feel it mostly in your triceps mostly in your triceps like when you're resting and you about to go in for another set you should feel it in your triceps man other than that man <laughs> you need to rewatch that clip man rewatch the clip on how to do it to do the, the tricep push-ups and make sure that you're doing it correctly from now on because it's very important that you're doing it correctly it may seem like i was going like at a fast pace but i was actually pacing myself make sure y'all pace yourself while y'all doing this exercise don't just fly through it go through emotions it's very easy to do that but make sure you're still pacing yourself man very important that you're doing that but that's enough on this exercise let's get into the next exercise of the workout man let's get it the next exercise is diamond push-ups you're also going to be doing four rounds of these now with diamond push-ups it's just like a regular push-ups except you're going to make a diamond with your hands and you're going to go down all the way and come back up same principles as regular push-ups just that the hand placement is is a diamond and what you want to make sure is doing of course taking your time feeling the contraction while you're doing the exercise don't rush through it don't go through emotions man if you're doing it and you're like man diamond push is way too easy man what, what you're gonna do if you in the gym grab you something like this i don't know what this is called and do diamond push-ups on this man you're gonna feel it more in your triceps, bro. Your triceps is gonna be on fire. You thought your triceps was on fire before with regular diamond pushups. They're gonna be on <laughs> more fire now with these. Cause it's like a weird surface. So you gotta also balance yourself while you're doing the triceps. So it doing doing the diamond pushups. So it engages the triceps even more, man. For real. <laughs> For real. Another variation you could do. If regular diamonds are too easy or again too easy and you don't have access to, I guess you could call that half a ball. I figured it out. I think so. Half a ball and you really want to challenge yourself and like, all right, I'm really going to challenge myself with these diamonds. Do the diamond push-ups on a decline. Decline diamond push-ups are really good. You're going to feel it. It's going to be a lot harder. Definitely going to be a lot harder than regular diamond push-ups. We're hitting triceps once again with this exercise. You know, like I said it before, I'm gonna say it again, is triceps are a very big part of your arms. You wanna make sure that you're hitting the triceps. If you're not training triceps and you're trying to look bigger, or I mean, trying to make your arms look bigger, you're missing out, man. You need them. You need to be hitting them tries, man, back to back. That's why I put it in back to back tricep exercise. But nah, I know y'all probably wanna like, yo, where the waist at, man? You say you're gonna combine the best of both worlds, but it seems like you, you favoring one side right now. Like, nah, chill, 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 bro. Chill, I'm gonna get to it. We, we, we now gonna get to the weighted push portion of the exercise. Let's get to it. Run the clip. Man, it's only right that we finish off with some weights. The exercise that we are gonna be doing with weights is hammer, curls now with hammer curls are slightly different from regular curl they're pretty much the same things it's just a different variation from the regular arm curl with regular arm curls you got your wrist facing upward 
with the hammer curls, you got your wrist facing out inwards and your elbows are kind of tucked in. So what you want to think about it is think about a hammer because that's the whole point. That's why they call it that. So you think about when you when you hammering. So it's that kind of motion. I started off with the 35s, but now I'm going up in weight because I want to make it a little bit more difficult for myself. You could do the same, man. Anytime you're doing like dumbbell exercise, a little bit too easy. Don't be afraid to go up in weight just to make it a little bit more of a challenge of yourself because that's how you're going to put that more strain on your muscles, man. But, hey, quick shout out to my man, John, for getting this footage in, man. Ran into him in the gym. You feel me? Here's what got this footage in for me. Shout out to my guy. Man, that's one of my favorite arm exercises when it comes to the dumbbells. I really don't like the regular arm curls. I prefer the hammer curls. That's usually my go-to. But pretty much with hammer curls, you pretty much just hand the whole arm, man. If you're looking for a dumbbell exercise, for exercise that's gonna get like the whole arm, like man, you ain't trying to do hammer, because hammer, well, I'm not with hammer curls, I'm tripping. But with regular curls, like regular arm curls, you're really just focusing on the biceps. You're getting a little bit of wrist, but you're not hitting the triceps. But with hammer curls, you hitting the biceps, triceps, you hitting it all, man, with the triceps. Just one exercise, you hitting it all, man. Highly recommend that you add that in, man, if you, you weights or adding any exercise in. But that's besides the point. Make sure y'all try this workout out. And um, hope y'all enjoying the content. Don't get to like, comment, share this video, turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on the next post. And I'm out.